world-class comedians, football games, charities. So <laughs> I get the challenge. Um, thank you for having me. Um, I've been with the club since uh, 1998. Uh, Joyce and I and the kids have lived in Dublin for uh, 27 years. And uh, I'm not as fortunate as some of you getting to go see your kids. I have to be at the airport twice next Wednesday night fetching them. So and we don't know who's cooking yet. Um, come on over if you're any good because I'm horrible. Um, when you're in professional sports, uh, the first thing you learn is you're an ineffective, lousy speaker. If you don't mention, tickets are available. <laughs> tickets are available, okay? Uh, we do play next Wednesday if your holiday isn't packed enough. We play Wednesday and Friday next week. So you can either you know, avoid your in-laws Wednesday night, or if you're sick of them by Friday, we'll see you at the arena. And they'll take care of you up in Mark's section. They do a great job. What's that? 212? Yes. OK, that, that's where the fun people are. Um, I, I did bring, um, I brought some tear-off sheets that have the schedule on it for the rest of the year. Help yourself, and I've talked to a few of you. Um, our group people do a nice job. So if you ever want to come as a group, or you want to bring your business or your family as a group, get in touch with me and I'll get you to somebody that will give you sort of concierge service. I mean, we can design your snacks, we can design your raffle prizes, we can throw a pretty good night for you. So we'd love to have you. Um, I thought I'd hit on three or four topics at three or four breathless minutes apiece and then I can hang around later uh, for those who have to go to work. Um, we've had plenty of change at the Jackets in the last 13 months. Uh, John Davidson came last October as the president of hockey operations. It is the number one position on the hockey side. You may know JD, uh, and if you don't, you should introduce yourself. He's world class. Uh, he had played for the St. Louis Blues and the New York Rangers, but you probably know him more as a broadcaster on NBC. He's in the Broadcast Hall of Fame. Um, and then he was back in St. Louis running their hockey department. We were fortunate enough to bring him here. I've been there long enough that I can tell you that it was an instant switch in the credibility of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Um, in the early years when Doug McLean was here, uh, Doug had taken the Florida Panthers in 1996 to the Stanley Cup Final. For those of you that are uninitiated, that's the equivalent of the Super Bowl or the World Series. And so Doug had a certain presence uh, in the hockey world. Um, Scott Housen came next. Scott, a close friend of mine, but he's a little more quiet a little more cerebral, and, and you could feel, uh, and it was to no, no full of scuts, but we were not as connected. Now when the visiting teams come to Nationwide <laughs> Arena and the hockey dignitaries, you should watch at 4 o'clock every afternoon the line of people trying to get in to see John Davidson. It's, you'd have to be there to feel it, but we've got a world-class leader on the hockey side, so we're thrilled about that. He's only been here 13 months. Uh, we just gave his little 401k packet last week because he's now eligible. Uh, so, uh, and, and he and his wife are building a, a home here in town, and uh, his daughters are wildly successful. They're grown, but um, we think he's good for five or six years. He's 60 years old. He's had both of these replaced twice, and that's our biggest worry um, as to whether he'll get tired of coming to work in the winter in Columbus, Ohio. Um, Yarmo Kekalainen joined us as the general manager in February. First European general manager ever in the National Hockey League. Yarmo is from Finland. Uh, he had played in the NHL. Uh, he had become the director of scouting again for the St. Louis Blues. Uh, they're you know, close to first place this morning. He's regarded as one of the best evaluators of talent uh, in our league. So we think that uh, we now have somebody because every one of these 18-year-olds that we choose is a million-dollar investment. Uh, this is not like your or my summer intern. We give them seven bucks an hour, they do some nice things, we pat them on the head, send a letter of recommendation. These 18-year-olds are a million dollar or more investment. When they go sour, you lose a lot like we have, and we understand that. Um, but Yarmo's there to spot talent. Um, we hired Bill Zito uh, just in August as another assistant general manager. Chris McFarland is already an assistant general manager, and he's staying. But it's, it's a depth kind of thing. Uh, Chris will run our minor league club in Springfield, Massachusetts. Bill is an ex-agent. Um, he played at Yale, and they won the national title last year. He went to law school at Wisconsin. He's bright as all get out. But he was an agent for 17 years. So he understands the other side of the negotiating, and he understands the worth of people. 
and the idea of bill joining us is to make sure we don't do any bad contract deals where we pay someone too much or we ask them to stay too long. And that happens. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're a Reds fan or a Browns fan. Players end up being paid too much or staying too long, and then you're stuck salary-wise. So all of that has happened in the last 13 months. And then uh, those of you that watch us on TV or listen on the radio, we brought Jody Shelley back, who is our all-time you know, enforcer and community ambassador. Um, Jody played here for a number of years. Uh, he and Mandy live here. She's from the Hockey Hills. Um, he's a Canadian by trade, but he loves Central Ohio. And Jody's now part of our broadcast team, but he's just wonderful for the community. And so we have him helping the charitable side and the foundation. So there are a lot of new people 